drawing and writing. Children love playing with balls and climbing games. These activities with big movements build the arm muscles required for drawing and writing. Set up opportunities where your child can use their hand and finger muscles. Ideas include gluing, using tongs, cutting with scissors, building with small blocks, finger painting and play-doh. Children may still swap which hand they use in these activities. Help your child to use scissors correctly to cut on lines and cut out simple shapes. If your child prefers to use scissors in their left hand, left-handed scissors will help them cut more easily. You may find these through your child's childcare centre, playgroup or at an educational supplies shop. Drawing and colouring in is still very important to help get hands ready for writing. Some children are still developing their pencil grip and can find it tricky to draw with a thin texture or pencil. Encourage them to use thicker textures or crayons as their grip develops. When your child draws, you can ask them to tell you what is happening in their picture. If they can tell you, write their short sentence under the picture and read it back to them. When your child looks at the picture again, point to the words and read them out loud. Your child is on the way to becoming a reader and writer. There are many different surfaces for drawing, painting and writing. Children love to draw and write in shaving cream or in a tray of sand. Add glitter for an interesting change. You could try paper on an easel, chalk on the pathway, or painting with paintbrushes with water on windows or in the bath. People and houses can be drawn using shapes, a circle for the head, a square for the window. It may help to show your child we can draw a person like this, with a body, arms and legs. Where can we draw the eyes and ears? Children develop their writing skills at different paces. Some children will still be developing their arm and finger movements in their first few years of school. Learning letters through play helps children get ready for school. Try shaping letters with Play-Doh. Play with foam letters, jigsaws and puzzles with lowercase alphabet letters or magnetic letters on the fridge. When you are cooking, your child could play with pastry or dough to make the letters in their name. Let your child have a go at copying their name and praise them even when it doesn't look exactly right. They may need your help at first. For a first step, try writing your child's name in letters big enough to see easily and have your child trace over your letters. Later, children can copy underneath your writing and even later on another piece of paper. The last step is, when ready, they can write their name proudly all by themselves. If your child is ready and interested, you may like to show them large numbers from 1 to 10 for tracing and copying. Start with numbers that are easier to write, such as 1, 0 and 7. Then try 2, 3 and 6. The numbers 4, 5, 8 and 9 are harder to write. With all letters and numbers, Show your child where to start and how to write or trace them. For example, when you draw the letter B, you start at the top, go down, 
then go back up halfway and around to the right in a circle. Down, up and around. This will help your child remember the pattern for writing letters and numbers. Draw a big dot to mark the starting point for writing each letter. Teach them to start writing their name from the left side of the page to get ready for school. Remember to keep drawing and writing activities fun. This will make sure your child enjoys the experience of learning to write when they start school. Look up the Early Words website for more information and ideas.